So the trick to the topology brush is basically knowing about good and bad topology and there's no like you just gotta read pages and pages on that really on what good topology is but for example here I can go like this and that and then make some polygons like this and this was actually damn bad <laughs> but just to give you the idea if sometimes it skips then Perhaps the polygon got flipped. You can see now that we got this, right? Um, let's see if we got polygons here. No. Got one small one there that is kind of buggy. Um, here. I'll just use uh, the bridge tool and then I would um, take these guys I guess and just use the connect tool or something like that. Same thing here, use the bridge tool, take these two guys, uh, use the connect and just bridge these and bridge those. So now you got that kind of topology right. Um, as for this, in the middle, uh, I, I would just uh, if I loop this and I press, uh, let's see now, create that a polygon and then double it inwards. You can see what I got here. And that kind of like messes up, but I can fix that by using real time smooth, for example. Just smooth that all the way out. Uh, why did it not work? Um, something seems to be up here. I don't know. This is not right. Something is very wrong with this topology. I don't know. Um, okay, I think, yeah, uh, here we got. These are not all quads. Um, so that you can see that I got a bunch of polygons here. I guess I can fix that by uh, using a fixed distance of something. Yes, yeah, so three polygons eliminated and bevel that inwards. Now it's all cool. Can smooth that out a bit. Um, thing though is that well, this doesn't really crash with that shape beneath. So what I can do is that I can. Sorry about that cooking noise. Um, what I can do is well, close the point. Good enough, I guess. I can just crank that up to a uh, hundred here, and now it's matching that background. And as I showed in another video, I can now use make pull on these guys and take all of those. I got 19 of these selected and select nth with these values OK and hit delete. Um, what you'll notice though is that because I got 19 edges, I'm stuck with 9 edges now. So. Uh, there should be, yeah, so this one is a trigon. Um, well, I guess I could fix that by going like that and going like this. But yeah, it should, well, always try to get an even number here on those guys. Uh, so this one, yeah, we can do the same thing with heat shrink and just pump that up to 100 and it will crash with that surface. Um, I can 
let's move that out. Oops, that was way too much. Let's move that out slightly. Let's move that out slightly. So it's, yeah. There's a lot of smoothing uh, in regards to this, and using key shrink in addition. Um, what in the there we go. To kind of like clean this up, I think I should have. In this case. Instead of using um, close the point, I should have chosen the Y. It's slightly more accurate in this case. Um, so yeah, I mean that's it. That's how you can like retopologize that. I guess I could have used the connect to uh, function. For some reason, that doesn't work in sub D, but anyway. Uh, was that wrong? Oh, okay. Um, that creates n gons. Um, well, okay, so the other way to go about this, if you want this to be smaller, is to just, well, simply just make it smaller. Um, go like that. Use the connect tool. Once again, put that in the background, and once again, use heat drink. So I'm just showing you like many ways to go about this. Um, really do recommend doing this in 3D code instead if you can. But really using the, topo uh, the topology tool is mostly about uh, knowing how to retopologize, knowing what is a good uh, polyflow and knowing what is not a good polyflow. Uh, 